Hello everyone, just another quick video to show what I've been working on. This is my uh, little setup I've got here, which is uh, a WAV playing 80 mega that I'm going to use for an alarm clock. Alarm. This is just me stuffing around with it and figuring out how to get it all working. I'm actually using um, ELM Chan's uh, Petite FS, which works quite well for reading the uh, FAT32 formatted, uh, I think it's a 2 gig micro SD card in here. Um, oh, I won't get it out, but yeah, it's a 2 gig micro SD card in an adapter. And, uh, whoop, I started that a bit early. And um, an AT Mega 32, which is uh, running at 20 megahertz, doing all the PWM single bit output. Um, the results are quite good. And you can see here I've got lots of cables coming over to my OLS logic analyzer, which has been very, very handy. Um, if you've got 50 US dollars, buy it from Seed Studio. Very good little bit of device. Cost me 46 Aussie dollars because the uh, AUD was stronger than the USD, so I'm pretty happy with that. So for 46 bucks, you can't really go wrong. Um, and then I got my little bus pirate, which I've still got to build the cases for these things, but um, like that. But that actually is running the SK500 firmware so that I can program the AT Mega very quickly because my AVR ISP is, pff, I don't know where it went. But um, very handy again. And this is my little hacked 3.3 um, volt TTL or VL TTL um, USB to serial doodaki which I made to I basically removed the level converter and uh, turned the uh, FT232 uh, BM to 3.3 volt mode by putting the the link to the uh, three point uh, internal 3.3 volt regulator so that now its outputs are all nice and 3.3 so that's just for debugging and then a little crappy LM386 amplifier going to a speaker running off a 9 volt battery and um, yeah anyway so I'll, you can see it's blinking away here saying there's no no SD card found so if I stick the SD card in it'll start playing ACDC which this is actually a 8 bit 44.1 kilohertz WAV file just dumped on the dumped on the SD card in the root directory it looks for anything that's dot .wav and just plays them sequentially so if there's more than one file it just goes plays them on RPR. My um, intent is to actually have a menu in the arm clock like you saw before with my little displays so you can pick the, uh, the WAV file it should play for a particular alarm but as you can tell, it actually plays pretty well. And if you give the volume a bit of a crank, uh, you can hear RF because of my amplifier is not very well shielded. But um, yeah, in a nice box, it should make a quite useful alarm. Anyway, I'll um, let this go now and uh, I'll post as I go further. Actually, one thing I didn't show you, I've got my little. 3.3 volt LDO, which I just chucked in a bit of donut board because uh, I didn't have any floating around that I could use on a breadboard, so I just made a little adapter. Anyway, um, I'll leave it at there.